Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are doing a six day road trip through Austria, Italy, Slovenia, and Croatia. And our first stop is the Dolomites in Italy. So Courtney's gonna be driving the first leg, which is about four hours, and then I'll do the second leg. We should be arriving at our first stop, the town of Ritten, at about 8.30 a.m. Courtney's so excited with her coffee, she just took off running. We are at this Earth Pyramid in Ritten thing, and basically the larger rocks up on top prevented erosion underneath them, so there's these pillars. I'm gonna launch the drone up and get some cool shots of it. So this is our first stop of the day. Oh, and you can see them right down there. And the sun's starting to peek through right up there. It's supposed to rain later today, but it's starting to look really nice. So hopefully that holds off. We're heading to Lago de Braes now, which is a really pretty lake with some old rowboats. And we're here. We're walking down to the uh, lake right now. And uh, the parking lot's not as full as I thought it would be for 10 o'clock, so that's really nice. So we're gonna rent one of the little paddle boats and take it out in the lake, and it's sunny now. Uh, weather report says we're supposed to get thunderstorms around one, so we got about four hours. So, four hours. Hey, Courtney, no picnic, okay? No picnics. Going to reserve our boat. boats went in so no one is out here on the water which is really nice um, it's 28 euros for the hour hang out here I'm gonna pop the drone up for a little bit and then Courtney is probably gonna lay out in the Sun we'll just use up the full hour and then head back in just all the way back that way so it'll be a lot of rowing I'll make Courtney do it. we got time but no money but there ain't nobody stopping us we got bills, but no dollars. But now we don't really give up. No, we don't really give up. Living for the ray of light. Life can be beautiful. Life can be beautiful. Going all the way tonight. Making it beautiful. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like there's no tomorrow. Acting like there's no tomorrow Acting like this Acting like this Alright Courtney, take us back Just uh, hanging out, enjoying the flowers Enjoying the views. All done boating. I'm gonna go get some food. We got all the snacks. Courtney just got ranch fries. And a cup of coal. She's, she's super cool. 
All right, so it, it rained. It's raining now, but we're leaving. We're heading to the car. Off to the next spot. We're driving in the park now, and up to the Three Peaks for parking. Um, ticket to get in was 30 euros. We're at the final destination, Three Peaks of Lovardo. Um, we're the only ones in the parking lot, up at the top at least. Um, we are hiking out, we got all of our gear on. I got my camera stuff and drone in the bag. So this is the first like hiking, camping trip I've done with all my stuff, camera. Courtney's got her phone. So she'll be coming at you with that. All right, and we're on the main trail that wraps around the whole, I'm gonna say compound of the Three Peaks. Um, it's really easy to walk on. The beginning part, it gets harder on the backside, but not too bad. Um, there's not much elevation change going around. So that's nice. And the weather is really, really nice. It, like rain like crazy. So we took a three hour nap in the car while it just thunderstormed and just dumped. And then it's opened up to a nice, beautiful sky. The clouds just rolled up on the trail and they're starting to cover everything out. Right here is the Three Peaks and it's hiding behind the clouds. So hopefully it opens up. Right over there, I don't know if you can see it, is the, uh, it's like a refuge. Um, you can get coffee and snacks there. We got some really good potatoes last year and uh, it's all about the snacks. The Three Peaks are popping through the clouds right now. It's right here, show yourself. Anyway, we gotta go up the rest of this road, which cars can drive on if you are a worker, all the way up here, and up that, and up into the clouds there. All this extra camera gear is slowing me down, but the Three Peaks of Lavarda is an Unsecco World Heritage Site, and it's just Super cool. You guys gotta check it out. If you're ever in this part of Italy in the Dolomites, everywhere down here is amazing. It's starting to show. Clouds still are wrapped around her, but whew. All right, we made it. Now we're going through the fun part, the cliff walk on the side. So I don't know if this is World War One or World War Two stuff. I just found a neat bullet. It's all rusted and corroded so I'll look that up when I get home here she goes oh it's your height all right into the cave these little hand carved caves I'm guessing all right gonna have to put the camera away it gets real small back here but we can follow Courtney. Wait for us. Oh, I'm already hitting the roof. Alright, so we crawl through this. Which I can't crawl through with my bag and film, so I'll see you in one second. Here's leaving. Oh man. I did it. I fit. Oh, and then it's a little cliff block. All right, here we go. <laughs> what do you think? This is the easy part, okay. No, we just walk along this ledge right here and then back around that little valley thing where the clouds are and then up on that flat spot. Okay. Still got some snow out here. Still making our way up. I 
along the cliff side. More snow. You got this. And someone left their rope out here for us. Look at this little Floridian mountaineer out here. In her shorts. Yeah, to get up on that higher ground there. Pull, pull the rope taut. Yeah, so you're pulling yourself up. There you go, the loose end behind you. What do you mean, this isn't in Florida? This looks like white sand beaches. Careful. Alright, we're still on the cliff side. Courtney got a little chilly, so she's putting her jacket on. I can't do any of that vlogging back where the on the rope and like I need both hands to climb through. This is what you get, but we're still going up. And the three peaks still has some clouds in front of it, but we'll see. All right, new jacket, ready for adventures. Looks pretty steep. Don't look down. The rest of this stuff is super easy walking. Um, no more cables or steep stuff. The trail is about this wide. And there's caves all throughout here that are pretty cool. And then lookouts. Um, but uh, the Three Peaks is covered in clouds right now, so there's nothing to even see. And then the view on the other side is just incredible as Courtney would say. Going out on the edge for the gram. Be careful. Oh wow. It's a long way down, Courtney. Alright, you all set up? Okay, I'll get your phone out then. Does it sound creaky? It looks creaky. Oh, you jump on it? <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, she made it. I guess I can make it across too. We made it to the top. We're just walking the ridge line now. That's the view. It looks like it's might rain. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, another cave. An old outpost up here up top. It's crazy. They, people came up here to work. <laughs> For the military. Whichever, Austrian or Italian, which one do you think it is? The Italian military came up here and just hung out. Nice flat spot up here. Could stay here and keep going. Following Courtney. She knows. This is the one? Yeah. This looks good. Still covered in clouds. And it's time for dinner and snacks. The clouds have cleared and the three peaks are here. And getting some sunshine coming through under the clouds over there. But it's still raining. Courtney's out here making us hot chocolate. And what's for dinner? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese for dinner. Oh, thank you. That looks delicious. All right, so we're up on top. Everything's set up. Courtney made cocoa. 
just having cocoa and enjoying the views here. There's just a little sprinkle, nothing too crazy. Just watching the clouds roll through. But, and then there's the uh, thunderstorms that direction. So hopefully it stays that way. And we don't get any, that much rain tonight, but I'm expecting some rain. So we'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, and welcome back. We just arrived at the house after our six day road trip. Um, you just finished watching part one. I'm going to be making some more videos coming up, so you're going to want to follow along and get the rest of that road trip. I'm going to try and post the next one this Friday. Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next adventure.